key takeaways from the Democratic National Convention, what Harris County is doing to try and protect your vote, and small business owners could get up to $50,000. The story's coming up. Hi, I'm Rashonda Tate Billingsley with your weekly Defender News Wrap, where we bring you the biggest news stories from the black community. It's official, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are making history as their nominations were formalized at this year's Democratic National Convention. The virtual convention weaved together speeches that prosecuted the case against Trump with stories from real people about the fatal toll of the pandemic and personal stories that were meant to provide a window into Biden's personal side. Former First Lady Michelle Obama and former President Barack Obama were among the highlights, making the case that Trump's got to go and Kamala Harris and Joe Biden were just the team to undo all the damage of the Trump administration. The convention had some heavy hitters all around. Well, next up, the Republican National Convention, and they've got the St. Louis couple who waved guns at Black Lives Matter's protests and the My Pillow guy. Can't wait. Harris County Clerk Chris Hollins is asking Texas Governor Greg Abbott to extend the deadline that county officials can receive mail ballots. Currently, that deadline for most ballots is 7 p.m. on Election Day or if postmarked by Election Day the next day by 5 p.m. The county clerk wants to extend that deadline to at least Monday, November 9th, to alleviate Harris County's fears about recent news coverage detailing expected delays from the U.S. Postal Service. No word yet on whether the governor will honor that request. Hollins is joining several local leaders to ensure our vote is counted. Pick up this week's Defender, where we tell you everything you know on how to get out the vote. The race to get a COVID-19 vaccine is well on its way, but researchers said they need a more diverse set of trial volunteers. So far, there are about 350,000 people registered online for a COVID-19 clinical trial, but only 10% are Black or Latinx. That could delay a drug from getting to the marketplace. Experts believe it's a lack of access to health care information in low-income communities. And of course, after the Tuskegee experiment, black folks don't have a lot of faith in trials, but health officials are trying to calm those fears. Are you a small business owner in need of relief? The city has launched Houston Small Business Economic Relief Program, which is funded with $15 million of the city's allocated CARES Act 2020 funds. That'll provide grant assistance to small businesses that have been adversely impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The application deadline is 11.59 p.m. on Friday, September 4th, and must be completed online at cityofhouston-sbrp.org. We've enjoyed bringing you the news, but News Wrap will come to an end next week. In September, we're excited about the launch of a new innovative show, Black Talk, hosted by yours truly, Anna Swad Walker, talking topics that matter to the black community. Stay tuned. It's a wrap. Make sure you're following us at Defender Network on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And join us here next week for all your Defender highlights.